So as you look at the way that God has really opened up some doors and taken things to a new level, what are, what are some of your thoughts about that? It's, uh, we've been so southeast for so long. Uh, like I said, 12 years we've been doing this and, and seeing God bless many, many people. But what we began to see and, and what has really changed for us is we're starting to see uh, us, our stretch. I mean, we're going to Midwest, we're going to Michigan. We were, this past week we were in Flint, Michigan, and, and then uh, the next day we were in Panama City, Florida. And then we're, we're here today and then we're back down in Florida tomorrow and the next day. And, and uh, so it's just started, we've started to see um, the, the footprint of who we are as a band grow. And we, you know, with that also grows the opportunity to tell people and share people our testimonies and, and what God's done for us, which in turn uh, should, ha- and we hope and pray that it helps them. Well, and you talk about who you are as a band, and, and any of you feel free to, to chime in on this one, but when you talk about the DNA of the J.J. Weeks band, your identity, who it is that you are as a band, what God has called you to be, how would you describe that? Um, well, first of all, we're Georgia boys, so we're, uh, we're Southern, uh, and so we love sweet tea. Uh, All right. That's definitely part of DNA, I guess. Um, no, man, who we are is a, is a uh, group of guys who just love doing what we do. Uh, that are, I've got the most talented guys on this road, and, and I'm, I feel like I'm the smallest man on the block um, because God has gifted these guys so much. And, and uh, being able to use that. So I think the DNA of who we are as a band is, is just doing what God's given us the talent for and doing it for the right reasons because every single one of these guys could be playing somewhere else and using it for for not a godly reason um and so for me i think that that makes up the dna of who we are as a band is great people who who love god with all their heart and want to see lives changed that's our dna as a band period that there's no other way to look at it anybody have anything else to add he, he said that very well, didn't he? Did. Yeah, hey, I think, I think he did. <laughs> well, I know you guys are working harder than ever, and, and God is really doing some wonderful things. How is it that you stay sharp and fresh spiritually? Oh, man. Uh, it, well, if we hadn't been a band for 12 years, this would might be a little more difficult right now. because. But, but as we fought this battle early on uh, in our travels, so we've already been there. We've already... Uh, realize that if we don't stay in the word if we don't do our quiet times if we don't pray together as a band if we don't do devotions together as a band that we we small parts of us begin to fall off in turn makes us not as you know not as cordial to each other you know we start seeing that as as we fall away from from the purpose of who we are and uh so I mean, for us early on we learned that we have to be um we have to keep each other in a check. You know, we're accountability partners. That's what we are. We're a band, uh, but we love each other and we care about each other, and, but we also have to keep each other in check. If they see me uh, doing something or saying something or doing anything that they know is out of bounds, they're quick to say something, and, I, and I, I'm the same way. You know, so that's, that's how we keep each other in check, I think.